Hi guys, Andy here. With more and more phones removing the headphone jack, Bluetooth headsets are going to be more and more important. So I have some here sent to me by a course to try. Um, not too much to note from around the box, um, but one thing that is noticeable is it says it's IPX5 water resistant, which according to Wikipedia means water projected by a nozzle 6.3 millimeters against enclosure from any direction shall have no harmful effects. Um, it gives a bit more information on the Wikipedia about how this goes on for like 30 minutes or something. So you'd imagine sweat resistant. Uh, when we get into the packet, you see there's kind of a, a mesh bag with some different earbud replacements for different sizes and a clip, should you want to know how you use the clip, to be honest. Um, but uh, there you go, micro USB charger. And as I say, the kind of the, the mesh bag for you to keep the earphones in. So then we go into the actual product yourself in the soft bag. Remove the plastic from around the cable. It's kind of a flat cable, flat rubberized cable. And then the like ear hooks holding the actual unit. You can see there's three buttons on the one side, power button in the middle, plus or minus either side, which is used for volume and for skipping tracks. And then there's the rubber covered micro USB in. You can also see the microphone there and actually the light um, a little bit further back on the unit, which does flash at, flash at various stages. Uh, the other side obviously the same, but no buttons, no mics, no nothing. Cable's a reasonable length. Um, I quite like that it's not got all the weight is in the earpieces in this. So my Sony ones, the weight is on the cord, which means that sometimes when I'm at the gym, it falls off down my back of my, well, my back. Um, but these shouldn't have that issue. To pair them up, easy enough, we just hold down the power button. You can see the lights flashing blue and red. You tend to get kind of voice prompts as well in the earphones if you're listening, telling you when it's been powered on, when it's pairing, when it's connected. Um, easy enough, obviously, then to connect up. Your phone should detect it, and then we see it switches just to, to a light, uh, blue light flashing when it's connected. One thing I did realize, the first time I went to the gym, I had this, well, I left the buds on that were already on it, and there wasn't much bass at all. There wasn't much of a seal inside my ear. Um, they didn't sound all that great. So then I switched up to the largest uh, buds uh, that there were in the pack. They just press on relatively easily. And that actually made quite a big difference. Uh, they're a little tricky to put in at times. This, so I filmed this this demo and actually that was the, probably the quickest I ever put them in. I did find myself sometimes wrestling with them a little bit to get the hook over my ear and then to get the earpiece into place but somehow when I filmed this I kind of slotted them I mean, even then it takes a few seconds each side so they're not super easy. Um, but then I figured right off to the gym we go and here's me cycling away. I think they look okay they don't look I mean they're slightly big but again the battery is all enclosed in the unit rather than in the cable. I did find on some of the machines, because it's kind of a rubberized cable, it would catch on things as I lent my head forward, um, it would kind of pull them a little bit at my ear. You can of course use them for phone calls because it does have a microphone in it. It sounded a little tinny in, uh, in at my end and I was told there's a bit of an echo at the other end. That's some great acting. I'm not actually talking to anybody. That's some great acting. I'm going to be on EastEnders soon. Bit of a problem at the gym. Obviously, I get I get quite sweaty, particularly. And I rub myself down, and oh, where are they gone? And I'm I mean, it's not. I'm kind of trying to avoid ears a little bit, but they they are quite big and bulky, so it's going to happen, I suppose. The sound itself, with the bigger padding, but what do you call them, ear ear thingamajigs, um, it sounded quite good. I mean, not amazing, not not probably not quite as good as my Sony's, but reasonable. Um, you do have a little bit of an issue sometimes with the rubberized cable getting all tangled up. They weren't the most comfortable things I've worn the first time I wore them. Uh, after about 20 minutes, slight pains in my ear, but the second time I wore them, not as noticeable at all. So I think just kind of years just need to get a little used to having them, them be in there, I suppose, basically. Uh, so at the moment, I believe they're £25 on Amazon. All in all, I think not probably not too bad a buy. Um, if you're an audiophile, you probably want to spend a bit more and get something a bit uh, higher quality. But but all in all, yeah, they're, they're a pretty good purchase for, for the money, I would say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.